Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I'm going to show y'all something that I do a lot of time. Actually, before the Instant Pot come around, I'm going to show y'all something I used to do, which I still do, if I really want this to have the house really, really smelling good. I'm going to do a low and slow a oven roasted pork shoulder. Now I got like a, this is like a 20 pound pork shoulder right here, y'all. I got it all washed up. Look how pretty that is. Got that at H-E-B. Look how pretty that pork shoulder is. Got the nice fat, the meat uh, portion on there. So we're going to roast this in the oven for eight hours, y'all. Really eight and a half hours. We're going to do 30 minutes, 425 degrees uncovered. After that, we're going to cover it up, put it in the oven for eight hours. It is almost 10 o'clock at night. I'm gonna put this in the oven and go to sleep, y'all. I'm gonna sleep all night. Just smelling this nice goodness of, of uh, flavorful pork roast roasting. At six o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna have pork butt for pork shoulder for uh, uh, breakfast. So anything, anyway, you can season this any way you want, y'all. What I'm got, I'm gonna put a lot uh, oil on there to make the seasoning stick. I got some of the Uncle Steve uh, pig shake. This is for pork. Uncle Steve, uh, old school pig shake here. See that? I got a Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to put a little garlic, uh, a little garlic salt on there as well. First thing I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to put a little oil on here. It's going to make everything kind of stick to it here. You don't need a lot of oil on that. Okay. Now we're going to put a little Wish you she 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 sauce on there. Get that on there. All sides. Like I say, y'all, you, you put this on during the day, especially at nighttime, y'all. And you just smell all that good that good seasoning, that good uh this is the granulated garlic right here. That good uh flavor. Just roasted in the oven. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Like I said, y'all, you can use any, any rub you want, y'all. I'm using the Uncle Steve Shake. Pig, uh, pig Shake here. This is especially for pork. This bad boy, like I said, I'm seasoning all sides. Of course, we're going to do the fat side up. Everybody know that. Whenever you cook something in the oven, I always do the fat side up. That's common sense. So people don't have common sense, so I'm letting them know. Always fat side up. Okay. Get that thing good and seasoned, y'all. There we go. Got all that rub on that. Now I'm gonna put it over here in the pan. I got a pan with a rack right here. Wash my hand right quick. Now, we're going to put this in the oven right now for 30 minutes on 425 degrees. 425 degrees uncovered. After we, after we come back for after 30 minutes, I'm going to fall this thing down. I'm going to cover it up. And we're going to cook it. We're going to turn the oven down to 300 degrees. And we're going to cook it for eight hours. It's going to come out perfectly. That bone going to come out of there. It's gonna have a nice color on there. And you can use, you can just pull it, make it some sandwiches. You can slice it and put it with some tater salad and beans, however you want to do it. But it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So anyway, we will put it up right now. 30 minutes, 425. We'll be right back. I'll show you the next step. We need an old school oven roast pork shoulder, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, y'all. 30 minutes, 425 degrees. This is what you're going to have right here. See how pretty that is? Now, you're going to turn the oven down to 300 degrees. 300 degrees, y'all. I'm going to turn the oven down. Hold on just a second. Now, what I like to do, y'all, in the bottom of the pan... I like to put a little apple cider and pineapple juice in the bottom of the pan. 
You can use water if you want to. Y'all know me, I'm all about flavor. I'm gonna put a little pineapple juice in the bottom of the pan, mix with a little, it just gives it a little, a little flavor. It's gonna give it a little flavor as, the, as, it's, as this is cooking. Pour this in the bottom of the pan too. Pour that in there. But this is gonna cook for eight hours, covered. We're gonna cover this up for eight hours. 300 degrees. I keep saying that so people don't miss them through what I'm saying. So, oh, he said such and such. No, eight hours. Like I said, I'm about to go to bed. It's 1030, y'all, at night. I'm going to spray the top of this so it don't stick. And I'm going to wake up in the morning. I can smell this all night cooking. Pour it over here. Smell of this all night as it's cooking, y'all. Wrap it really, really good. Really, really tight, y'all. I didn't even get it. Let it do its thing. 300 degrees. Eight hours. And we'll be back in eight hours. I'll see y'all in the morning. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Good morning, y'all. Had a good sleep here. And Lord, y'all, I smell this all throughout the night, y'all. Smell this all throughout the night. So that's enough of uh, waiting, anticipating for this, y'all. Look at this here, look at this here. Oh my God, y'all see how tender that is? Look at that, got that little fat cap on there. Let me turn you out this way. All that grease is rendered off of there. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. Y'all, look, that bone come, gonna come right out of there. And I'm gonna put this, what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna put this on a platter. Get this, I'm gonna put it on a platter. Look at this, y'all. Look how tender that meat is. Look at that. Turn it the other way so I can get one of them bones to come out of there. Mm, mm, mm. See how tender that is? Y'all know it's tender. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look, look at that meat there. That's eight hours, y'all. Low and slow in the oven. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that world famous YouTube thumbnail. We're gonna come back. We're gonna taste a little bit. We're gonna take some bone out of it and all that. We're gonna taste a little bit. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Y'all, I just left it right here in the pan. I ain't gonna even take it out of the pan. I'm gonna let it just kind of cool. I'm gonna take this bone out of here and show y'all. It's going to cool off a little. This thing is blazing hot. It just come out the oven. All right, bone just come right out of there. Look at that. See that? Look at that bone. That bone just come right out of there. You know how tender it is when the bone just come right out. I'm telling y'all, this is some good eating here, y'all. Good eating. So I'm going to get a little of that fat there, y'all. A little piece of that meat. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at that. <coughs> Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Just doing a little sample here, y'all. A little sample in here. And later on when it cool, I'm gonna really pull this thing. So I got a little barbecue sauce here, y'all. I'm gonna pull a little barbecue sauce on here. A little barbecue sauce on there. Look at that. Look at that bite down. Look at that bite going in. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this is so flavorful. Of course, you see how tender it is. Pork tender. You just pull that apart, make you some pulled pork sandwiches. And that's the way to do it. Low and slow. Like I say, I, I, I like to do mine on a rack. And I just pick it up right out the oil. That's why I do it on a rack. Do that and transfer it. Transfer it. Transfer it. 
transport it. <laughs> transfer, transfer it into another container. Throw that grease away. And we good to go. So, eight hours, y'all. Y'all remember that last night at 10 o'clock, 1030? It is 6.15 right now. And you know I'm not going to eat no pork for breakfast, y'all. But you can eat it for breakfast. But anyway, <laughs> let me close the video out. <laughs> if you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2024, stop wishing, stop doing. Stop wishing, start doing. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.